So it's been exactly one year. Well, maybe not exactly, but it's been very close to exactly one year since Kitten Space Agency was first announced as the spiritual successor to Kerbal Space Program after the disastrous launch of Kerbal Space Program 2 and the subsequent closure of Intercept Games. Now, Kitten Space Agency has cemented itself as the premier upcoming modular rocket sim game. At least that's my view. And it's already available right now for anyone who wants to to try it for themselves. For free at awoo.com. That's A-H-W-O-O dot com. There, you can also contribute to the project, which if you're able, I would encourage you to do. Even $5 a month goes a long way towards helping support this incredible team, because while the game is free, development certainly wasn't. At this present moment, the game is somewhere between a tech demo for Brutal and a pre-alpha. But did I mention this game is being built in its own custom framework and not in an engine like Unity or Unreal? Because I feel like I have said that a few times now. That's because unlike Kerbal Space Program 2, the developers want to have absolute control over what exactly happens in the game and when it happens. And they're passing those tools on to you! That is to say that the benefits of using Brutal are shared by the modding community, who will also have full control over what the game does and they will have a far greater degree of freedom to create exactly what they want. Theoretically, they could turn this game into an entirely different game if they wanted to. And I'm sure one or two people are probably going to try exactly that. This community has, by the way, somehow, in just a matter of days and weeks, managed to create a number of incredible mods and tutorials for those who want to get into modding themselves. And those will be linked in the description below. I will also be making a video fairly soon covering some of those mods and taking a look at what people have done already, because it's kind of insane. But exactly how far have we come in the last year? I was trying to come up with a way to highlight the game's progress over the last 12 months, and at first I thought about just editing all of my update videos together into one ULTRA MEGA GIGA update. But let's be honest, no one is going to sit through over two straight hours of information that they've probably already heard most of. So then I started trying to put together which updates were my personal favorites, but honestly that just ended up being a watered down version of what I just mentioned before. So in the end, it's a montage. We're doing a montage. It's a montage of the visual updates over the last year, and yes, there is music. If you prefer silent contemplation, you can easily just mute it, or better yet, put on your own music. But I am working with a very limited number of royalty-free tracks here on YouTube, and I can't please everyone. But before we get started, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I am very close to my year-end goal of having 5,000 subscribers, but I need your help to push me over that last hill. Also, be sure to check out my podcast called Chaos in the Lobby for some deep dives with the developers of Kitten Space Agency, as well as plenty of other interesting people from the KSP community and beyond. Now, let's take a look back at what things were like just after this game was announced in those first few months and how things have changed in the year since then. I see myself 